Even though Plato was a figure thousands of years ago, his wisdom continues to teach us today. Let's explore the 10 secrets he talked about for reading people's minds and human relationships. If you want to communicate with someone, first respect them. When dealing with someone with a different mindset, it's crucial to first show respect to the other person, otherwise, a meaningful relationship cannot be established. Therefore, if you want to get along with someone, you must first adapt to them. If you want to have an intimate relationship with someone, always consider the other person as the protagonist and carry the conversation forward. This world is never just about you alone. Remember, you must value and understand the other person. Do not judge others lightly, nor criticize or praise them recklessly. When you praise others without reason, words lose their significance. Also, if you criticize others without justification, criticism will come back to you. A word from someone in a high position can influence the life of someone beneath them. Therefore, choose your words and advice wisely based on the situation. A thoughtlessly spoken word can become a dagger to others, and an action without meaning can escalate uncontrollably. In human relationships, thoughtless words and actions breed resentment and disaster. Don't corner your opponent too aggressively. Sometimes, in heated arguments, people tend to thoroughly overpower the other person to win decisively. At times, when someone makes a big mistake, many people tend to severely embarrass the person in front of others. Regardless of the situation, avoid criticizing the other person too harshly. Always leave room for them to offer explanations. Under no circumstances should you completely trample on someone's dignity. You should be especially careful in front of other people. Those with strong self-esteem, when humiliated, might harbor great animosity toward the one who humiliated them and may even seek revenge. No matter how right I am and the other person is obviously wrong, I shouldn't criticize the other person's ego to the point of being crushed. Someone who can moderate that intensity truly maintains good human relationships. Even if you have close relationships, maintain an appropriate distance. There exists an appropriate distance in human relationships. Therefore, a wise person does not overly involve themselves in relationships without discretion. Wise people are mindful of where the boundary lies in their relationships with others and take care not to cross it. Maintaining an appropriate distance is the wisdom to keep a balance in human relationships and prevent issues. When relationships become excessively close, you may end up seeing things about the other person that you shouldn't. Furthermore, there are instances where one's own boundaries are encroached upon due to others' constraints or dependencies. To avoid unnecessary problems, maintaining a certain distance with others in human relationships is paramount. Listen to the affectionate expression hidden in others' bitter advice. If you want to become a better person, willingly accept criticism or opposing opinions from others about you. Next to great people, there are those who offer unfiltered bitter advice. The bitter advice from others is the driving force behind your growth. Do not overly trust those who only speak pleasant words to you. They may speak ill of you behind your back. Rather, someone who gives you bitter advice up front may speak about your strengths to others where you can't see. If someone takes everything seriously and aims to build genuine relationships with others, they will naturally speak in a strict manner. On the other hand, in relationships where you are deceived by sweet words and superficial friendliness, it's difficult to find genuine human connections. Don't waste your time worrying about the malice of your opponent. You might also encounter people who falsely spread rumors that you said things you didn't, causing trouble for you. When you encounter such individuals, focus not on their ill intentions but solely on honing your own character. No amount of malicious manipulation or distorted information can ever undermine the truth. Even if there are people who don't fit well with you, spend time with them often. Forging a relationship with someone who doesn't fit well with you is the most challenging aspect of human relationships. In such situations, the most desirable approach is to intentionally seek opportunities to spend time with them. 
efforts should be made to dispel the perception that these individuals, entrenched in your and their subconscious, are truly difficult to deal with. Feeling that it's difficult to deal with someone stems from a lack of conversation between each other, resulting in not knowing the other person well. Therefore, if you open your heart first and gradually close the distance with the other person, you will become closer over time. Continuously avoiding interaction with the other person because the relationship feels awkward will lead to no progress in getting closer. If you want to have good human relationships, you should open your heart first and patiently knock on the other person's heart. By doing so, once their heart opens, it won't easily close again. Don't be a smart but unhappy person, but rather a foolish yet happy person. Most smart people usually do not appreciate the actions and words of those who are not as smart as them. However, for some reason, there are cases where foolish people appear happier than smart people. This is because they don't feel the pressure to excel or achieve perfection like intelligent people do. They also have the mental flexibility to laugh without a single complaint about the daily repetitions. On the other hand, some smart people are always burdened and restless under pressure or responsibility. This world is a mix of various kinds of people. If you never ignore someone less capable than you and treat them sincerely, you can have happier human relationships. Distinguish between advice and meddling. When someone gives you advice, take time to ponder its meaning before following it. Proper advice should not feel like it's being forced upon you. Proper advice requires a mindset of respecting the other person, saying, this is what I think, but ultimately the decision is yours. People who say, everything I say is for your benefit, often turn out to be self-centered and unaware of others. Don't be fooled by superficially affectionate words from others. Even well-intentioned advice can sometimes lead you astray unintentionally. Ultimately, only the person living their life can decide on its course. Keep this in mind and listen to advice from others. Spread positive influence. People always find comfort in someone else's kindness. A simple warm word from someone can give us strength and boost our motivation. Getting angry at others will never truly bring peace to your heart. Instead, you will lose your inner calm and become filled with anxiety, leading to lashing out at others. Instead of projecting your negative emotions onto others, spread warmth.